beyond the capacity of your sight beyond the rules of mankind something beyond the horizon for it knows no limits no bounds for it lurks in the dark lives in the shadows for when it's mistaken as madness a false story is the right choice no rules can guide it no reasons can define it they tell of it as a birthright but you can't have it and this you realize what it truly is that which cannot be altered or snatched that which ceases to exist in its true meaning that's the position of freedom do you remember the time before all this back when you were a child a sapling on this green earth and you were free to explore to venture in the ocean maybe just jump off the waves this day only to throw yourself in the frenzy the next day and have the fun of your life with not a care in the world the pristine laughter of a child is but the personification of unimpeachable emotions but like everything else it doesn't last you hardly notice it pass by It wasn't supposed to be this way. I do a job I despise to live a life I hardly reckon living. I merely breathe to sustain a body without a soul. I feel like a bird in shackles so long that it has even forgotten how to make a flight. My entire life is a loop. One day ends, and the same day begins. Why do I do all this to live another thousand same days? You've got it the wrong way. 
You've been living thousands of days, yes, but all of them wonderful, comfortable, and many glorious. But what's this crap about bird and shackles? If you're telling me you want to quit your job and go on running as a tramp, by all means, go ahead. But some stones are best left unturned, 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 unturned. There you go. The loop starts. So that's that. No. Oh, I hate this part. I'm never wearing the dress. Go on. What are you waiting for? Feel that rich fabric. Put these prim clothes on, made. Decency is what they love. And I do exactly what they want me to do. There's a reason why men in power have worn ties throughout history. Think about it. And what I get is... Respect. Decency. Amiability. Courtesy. Geniality. Who's out of you? What have you got there? None of your concern. You can't possibly be waiting for the road to be completely empty to cross it. You see, you have no time for this. Everyone is in a hurry. And so are you. You're afraid as there are accidents, which apparently happen all the time. But safety is not something you can be concerned about all the time. So set your foot out and get your ass across the road. This society expects you to do certain things, to behave in a certain way, to follow a certain lifestyle, to attend a certain college, to get a certain job, to watch and listen to certain things, to follow certain rules. It is like the eye that judges every second of your life, from how you pull your pants up to what you do for a living. The eye has made me hate life, resent life, and I feel dead inside, like I have sold my soul. I wish I wish I were a child again with not a care in the world. Oh, someone wants to play with the kids, huh? You cannot be serious. You're too old for this shit. Raju! Raju! Raju, eh? Raju! Where are you going, buddy? Opposite offices, same shithole company, two fucking years and you still ask me the same question. Come on. He's just trying to start a conversation. You must play nice with him. He's your colleague. Your best friend. You know, You know? Yeah, yeah, I know. You are going to your daily prison. <laughs> Don't look at him. Look here. Roll them down and just laugh. Why should I? Why shouldn't you? It's just a laugh. <laughs> now along with that, you're always so funny. Fuck you, I'm not gonna say that. Asshole. 
<laughs> yeah, well, you're always so funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know that. Everybody says so. <laughs> uh, we're gonna get late again. Hmm. Well, our boss is going to give us a hard time if you know what I mean. The dickhead is going to shout at the top of his lungs. <sighs> There you are in the office, licking his ass all the time, and here, ugh, you are their favorite. No one will say shit to you, cheesy, sweet-talking bastard. You disgust me. Why can't you simply be nice to these people? These people, actually, that you referred to you. Oh, you see, in order to gain respect, you have to give respect, and that's the only way respect can be earned. You want some respect? I will tell you the most respectful word I've ever heard. Douchebag he is, huh? Absolutely, man. I bet that thing is smarter than you. What? Cause it's a smartphone. Are you trying to be funny? Well, I don't need to try. <laughs> hey. Hey. Jimmy. <laughs> How you doing? Everything's fine, man. Uh, who is he? He's Raju. Just Jimmy, my college mate. Nice to meet you. You nice look kind of exhausted. Do you walk all the way to your office? Yeah, I live nearby. Nearby? Where exactly? Me. I live in a sticky box and sleep two feet high from the ground, staring at a wedding pan on the ceiling and wondering when it would fall on me. When relieve me of this life, I have to put up and smile with imposters like you. What the heck are you so worked up about? Don't you call your sweet home a stinky box? It's a nice place. Just answer him. Learn to behave. Summer apartments. Okay. Okay then. Nice seeing you, Jimmy. Oh, goodbye. Yeah. All the goodbye. Best. Take care. He's a nice guy, Jimmy. Me? Mm. Sir? Oh, come in. No, tell him that I'll fire him if he does that again. Just a minute. I don't care. All right. Yes. No need to say sorry and all. Why the fuck should I say sorry? It doesn't matter. If he is expecting it, just do it. Sorry, sir. Relax, Raju. Now go on. What are you waiting for? I told you yeah. that I was right. Go ahead.
<laughs> Come on! It's 9.30 in the morning, you asshole! Who the hell do you think you are? Is it your home or something? Jesus! Sir, I won't do it again. Listen to this, you fucking retard, you! I am your boss and you work for me! So get your lousy wrinkly ass back to work or you're going out of here. There you go. My puppet show starts. Why wouldn't it be? Come on, tell me. Uh, Why wouldn't it be? Why wouldn't it be started, huh? I told you from the start. And from the start, I did exactly what you told me to do. And look where it got me. Let me tell you a story. Once upon a time, there was a little boy. You know what? Enough of this bullshit. Tell me straight. Not those stories. Because a story concludes in a way you can never forget. And of course you're a puppet in the hands of someone very big. So what? You should get the desire to be like him. So come on, get back to work. Uh, listen to all the shit they say and my reply should be, Yes sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's exactly what I said, sir. Like a parrot. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I understand you don't like me calling you, but, but sir, we have this great product, sir. Oh, God, I hate this job. <laughs> Bastard. One day, I will be the one laughing at you, and you will be the one staring. Oh, yeah, really? That day won't come as long as I'm here. You get it? No! Don't you dare. As long as I'm here, do as I say. True thirst. And that's exactly why I want you to laugh. Would you like to complete anything, sir? Okay, sir. It will be done for the next time, sir. Sure, sir. Yes, sir. Definitely, sir. You are doing the night shift. Understand? Yes, sir. I understand, sir. No, no, no. Look up. Take that file. Get back to work. Concentrate. I don't want to lose any respect anymore. Oh shit! God damn it, shut it! Don't you even know that, moron! Hurry up! Tell him you forgot to turn it off. Are you even listening to me? What the hell are you doing? Screw that ring. Use your brains to spare the damn thing. Shit. Shut up! That's all it took. That's all it took to gain my freedom. Don't you see? 
I'm above. Above all this chaos. All these petty people. All these rats nibbling at scraps to breathe through. Yet another day. I... I'm going to climb down looking up for I don't care. Let me out in the sun. And let me just look. Look at myself the way I've never looked before. For I look different. For I feel different. The serene calm I've never experienced before. It feels to me like I've been running in a desert. And I've just found the most beautiful lake on this God's green earth. Sanity, as this society puts, and the happiness, the likes of which I long for, are an impossible combination. I no longer care for what they think of me. I am happy. Happy as a child taking pleasures in small things, even as greater things crumble. I want to make a flutter now, to fly out there in the open and feel the wind striking against my face. I can see clearly and sharply as on a square of a movie film cut out and held motionless forever. The one instant when his body hung in space, his long legs flung wide, his thin arms thrown up, hands breezed against the air, a single moment the flash of a small body in the greatest burst of ecstatic freedom I had ever witnessed in my life. I have gained my freedom. I Enough! Well, you shut it already. Look, there's no ring. There never was. It was... It was your brother. A couple of weeks ago, he died in an accident. After seeing the accident with your own eyes, you will have crestfallen. Apparently, he went into such a big trauma because he couldn't even cry. There was this stunted emotional growth, severely affecting your cognitive abilities. And then, it only got worse. You! You need to get out! You see, that's the reason why everyone who wore that ring took it off, even in your imaginative story. Because the story concludes in a way you can never forget. It's two thirds, that's exactly what I want you to buy. But safety is not something you can concern about all the time. Me, I live in a sticky box and sleep two feet high from the ground. Still don't get it, do you? All the people who wore the ring took it off for only one goddamn reason. They became mentally stable once again. They were accepted into the society. Because that is what happens in this society. You do what everyone does. They smile, you smile. If they say something is awesome, you'll convince yourself it is awesome. Even if you don't think it is. Because it doesn't matter. They are expecting just do it. Because you do exactly what they want you to do. Because you didn't want to lose respect anymore. There's no goddamn way around that. Now if you keep doing whatever you want to do, you know what the society will call you. Mad.
Now as long as you don't accept this. Getting out of this godforsaken place. Forget it. It's a big bad world out there, mate. You wanna roam free and get out of this therapy treatment? Just do away with that goddamn hypothetical ring of yours. Cause that's all it'll take. That's all it'll take to gain freedom, 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 That's all it took. That's all it took to gain my freedom. That which cannot be altered or snatched. That which ceases to exist in its true meaning. That's the position of freedom. For it knows no limits, no bounds. For it lurks in the dark, lives in the shadows. For when it's mistaken as madness, a false story is the right choice.